I'm Mark Cavanaugh for Cavi Coaches, and today I'm going to coach you up on using Google Sheets to create a graph from your data and link that to a Google Doc. All right, so we have our data collected, and we've entered that into the Google Sheet with variables and units at the top. We highlight those columns of data, and then we can go up here and click on Insert so that we can insert a graph. So we can either click insert chart here, or we can go over to the toolbar and click insert chart here. And when we click on insert chart, it inserts a chart and we wanna make sure that that chart is a scatter plot like we would plot in our lab notebooks. So you click on scatter chart and we can see that it didn't change. So we have a scatter plot chart. So what we wanna do is we wanna check our lab report now. We've typed up our lab report. I'm going to scroll down to where I have my data and graph section ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my data straight from my Google Sheet. So I have my data, I highlight it, and I'm going to copy and paste it. So I can hit either Control C or I can right click and copy, and then come back over to my lab report and hit Control B or right click and paste. And I can paste with link to spreadsheet or not link. I want to link it so that way if I make any changes on my data table, I can click one button and it'll update it on my Google Doc as well. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the graph. So you're going to click on the graph so you get the three dots up here. You're going to click on those three dots and you can see here it says copy chart. So I'm going to click on copy chart. When I come back over here, I can either do the same thing, control V or right click and paste. And I'm going to get the same options to links to spreadsheet or paste unlinked. Always click on link to spreadsheet so that way it's one click of a button and you can change the chart if it changes in your spreadsheet. The chart is now pasted in our lab report. So I come over here to the lab report and I can see, oh, 1B in the graph section says I need to have the entire first quadrant shown. And I can see there's a gap here. Zero to one is not the same distance as we have from one to two. So that means I'm not showing the entirety of the first quadrant. So how do I fix that? Well, I'm gonna come over here to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna click on those same three dots and click on edit chart. Then I'm gonna come up here to customize. I click on customize and we're looking at the horizontal axis. So I click on horizontal axis and I scroll down a little bit and I can see minimum value. So I'm just going to type zero, and now I can see that it starts that from zero. So just to double check, I'm going to do the same thing for the vertical axis. Click on vertical axis, type zero. Nothing changed, so our vertical axis was already starting from zero. But I go back to my lab report, and it's not updated. But I have this button at the top that says update. So I click update, and now I can see that the charts both match in my Google Doc and my Google Sheet. If Mr. Kavanaugh says, hey, let's go ahead and add a line of best fit. So we're gonna click on series and we're gonna click on trend line and you can see that the line of best fit shows up. If I, if I wanna show the value of that equation, I come down here and I can click on use equation and it shows the equation at the very top of the graph. Now this is the generic version, not the mathematical model that we wrote and worked on so now I can scroll back up to my graph. I can click on update and it fits the line of best fit. Also shows the equation for the line of best fit. I can see positions graphed here, times graphed here like I want. My data table is also linked to my Google Sheet. So if I needed to make any changes, I can do that and click update. So this is how you insert a chart and data table into a Google Doc. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Cavi Coaches and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Cavi Coaches.